Hi guys, this is Matt from Optimus Trading Group and I just wanted to make a video today about a question that was asked which was how to pull the front month in uh, the order book and how this can be automatically populated. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, before we start, uh, just a disclaimer, there is a substantial risk of loss in futures trading. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is the phone number um, in uh, North America. This is the local number. Uh, this is our website. And this is the Skype uh, Optimus Trading support, which will, uh, if you guys are overseas, don't want to incur any calls or use Skype, I'm always available on that. Okay, so uh, let's start. I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing that you do um, to get the front month always populated here is uh, first of all look for uh, get the quote board out, which you can do from file, and then get the quote board right here. Okay, and what you do here, you highlight it over here, a little square here, and you right click here, and then you click search and add symbol. So for example, let's say you want to uh, your new mini S P trader yes and now you have the yes contract and now you just pull out the yes which is the front month okay now you clicked on it you're gonna close it here and now it's populated and now in order to do it here all you have to do is put e s and it's automatically repopulated with the front month over there and so forth now let's assume that uh, you want <coughs> a different month uh, not only the front month, but a different month. Again, uh, you highlight this. Just one second, guys. Okay, you highlight it. Right click inside, search on that symbol. Let's say you want to do um, symbol 6E. Okay, and I'm going to choose something rather far. Okay, so we have, let's say, not very liquid month, but just for, you know, just for illustration purposes, um, let's choose uh, June. Okay, of uh, let's double click on that. So let's see if it populated it. Yeah, it just populated it. Okay, so now we have Euro FX in the June 2013. You know, in short time will pass, and but uh, as we record this, this is uh, 30th of November 2012. So we only see a bit size of five, uh, not very liquid market, but let's see how that starts showing up here so we're going to start typing in 6e and all of us here we have the liquid month and here we see the June which we just populated so if you want this to uh, populate for you right over here automatically you should pull it out on uh, the quote board okay this is all for now if you have any questions of course uh, call us and uh, we'll be more than happy to help